with the tide at this point. It's covering it. It's actually coming up to it. It's giving it the, the incoming ocean tide here. So what is the ocean bringing in at high tide? Nutrients. Plankton, nutrients. Dinner. Dinner, there you go, yeah. it's the dinner bell, exactly. High tide, it means you're hungry. You get to eat at high tide. What else besides nutrients and plankton? Oxygen. Oxygen. Feel this water, you've all felt this water. You know, you all put your hand in here. Nice and cold. Cold water holds more dissolved oxygen. So the colder and the more this gets submerged and the more this gets covered up, the more food, nutrients, oxygen, cooler temperatures, better conditions for mating, reproducing, laying eggs, all, all exists. So what do we have on this rock, everybody? Barnacles. barnacles. Now, can I ask you at this point what species of barnacle this is? No. no. And here's the thing. I want you to know this. This is going to be, Chip's going to be making that face at me the whole time, and I, I know why. Because Chip and I had this really good volunteer training along with Chappie. Where's Chappie? Right here. And one of the things that we've learned is the more you read, the more confused you get. <laughs> we have 15 different field guides on the coastline in my office bookshelf. And one day I went through them because I had someone say, I don't think that's called a dog well. I think it's called a dog winkle. And I want to see if anybody has one. Let me just look in your buckets yeah. here. You got one right there? Yep. You all probably have something that looks like this. Okay? So see if you all have something that looks similar to this snail. Pretty good size. It has a teardrop shaped opening. All right, it has little whorls or, or spirals, if you will, through the shell. And it has a very blunt apex or end to it. All right, hold it up if you think you have something that looks like this. Excellent, you all have mystery shell, mystery snail, because six of the field guides calls this an Atlantic dog winkle. The other seven or eight call it a dog whelk. So I'm gonna go on what we observe. What's the scientific what name? What is the scientific name? And that's another thing you can do, but a lot of the groups that we work with at Joppa Flats are kids under sixth grade. So, you know, we could say, we could say um, uh, Nucella lapilis, we can say Thea or Thea uh, lapilis, and we could look in our books and we can figure it out, but is that really the point? Are we here to be a robot and spit out data? No, we're here to engage, we're here to inspire, we're here to get the kids and the visitors to think on their own and take ownership of whatever it is we're trying to get them to grasp from this area. So this particular animal we know is a snail because why? What are the characteristics of a snail? It has uh, one shell. One shell. The best part. Okay, spiral growth. It has a foot, a very muscular foot. Okay, now this one's not alive, so I can't, I can't obviously uh, uh, confirm the foot, but I can say oh, it has a foot. So it has a foot. Now, do you find all the snails in the same place? No. 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 So if you lived in one section and another snail was found in abundance in another section, that's got to tell us something. They have different what? What do they have different that would keep them from being together in the same rock? Different environment, different Niche. needs, different, different niche. Yeah, different, adaptations. different adaptations. 